قرآن بین حدیث اور جو ہولی پراف علیہ السلاۃ السلام دس ایز دے ڈو ناٹ میک اینی ڈسٹنگشن بٹوین مین اینڈ وومن ایز ریگارڈ ٹو آبلیگیشن آف ریکوائرنگ نالج اینڈ پرسوئنگ نالج ایز یو ہیو بین ٹولڈ فار انسٹنس ان دا حدیث طلب العلم فریبۃ علی کل مسلم و مسلمہ Acquisition of knowledge is a duty incumbent on every Muslim man and every Muslim woman. Similarly, in connection with earning one's livelihood, first the need arises, it has been affirmed, and the right of the woman to earn her living has been affirmed. And the right of economic independence of the woman has been affirmed clearly by the Holy Quran and in the Hadith. Of course, the universal principle of the Islamic way of life will have to be maintained at every place. That when the Muslim ladies go out of their home, whether they go to friends or they go for shopping, or they go for requiring education, or they go for earning their living, they should go with that decorum and that grace with which Islam wants them to behave. And they should see that where they are going to earn their living, their integrity of personality will remain in check. After that, I will say this principle of the economic independence of the woman, I think so far as my knowledge goes, was first of all given by Islam. The Holy Quran is very clear on this. لِلْرِجَالِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّتْ فَسَبُوا وَلِلْنِسَاءِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّتْ فَسَبُوا Men have the right of possession. of ownership on that which they earn, and the women have got the right of ownership on that which they earn. So unless the possibility of earning for the uh, women folk was not there, this work would not have been there in the Quran. Uh, but there is another aspect to it also, as I made it clear, that Islam wants men to undertake these hardships because earning a living is not uh, walking on a bed of roads. And Islam wants, the point of view of Islam is, as the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam has laid it down, al-mar'atu sayyidati baytuha. Woman is the queen of her house. Woman is the chief of her house. to the extent that even the husband should consider him to be the best of his wife when he comes into the house. To the extent that it is the Islamic etiquette that even when the husband comes to the house, he should inform and take permission from the wife for coming into the house. We very often forget that whatever a community achieves outside the home, outside the family life, or I should use the home, definitely, it achieves much more inside the home. The foundations of a culture and the foundations of the progress of a community, the spiritual and the moral and cultural foundations are laid inside the home, primarily. And uh, to say that man and woman both should be asked to make it the rule of their lives to go every morning outside their homes and to come back in the evening and leave their children to the fondling hospitals or to the orphanages or to the hospitals or inside the home to the care of their servants, I think Uh, it is 
through this way, only damage can ultimately come. Even from the economic side, it is not that, I will say, the national potential of wealth is stands at a definite level. Now, even from the economic side, it is not that, I will say, the national potential of wealth is stands at a definite level. Now, if men and women both earn their living out of that, maybe that some people feel it like that and see that this national potential will increase. I doubt it. Really. But even if it increases, there is something very positive and very fundamental in this business. The children are deprived of the affection and the care of their parents. Definitely they ought to be. So, according to the spirit of Islam, a woman should undertake earning her living if it is in a factory or if it is in an office and so on, outside the home, only when there is no other way. And if in case she has children to look after. Of course, there can be, as I saw in Japan, they have got the cottage in industry. And Japan, who is industrially probably more advanced, or at least as advanced as the most advanced place uh, in this world, there I have found a unique System. And that uh, system is that all the work of production is not done only in the factory. It is also done inside the home. And probably the Japanese women make a larger contribution than the Japanese men. So, <laughs> if there can be evolved a sort of system whereby the family life may not be damaged, and the woman also can earn and add to the productivity of the wealth of that nation. I don't think that Islam at all stands in the way. 